And I'm, I'm coming from a, a place of expectation. I think often government, especially MPP government, gets it wrong because of the expectation. I think that they underestimate the, the expectation that people, including the media, have of them. It is because of their own history. It's because of their own history. They have a history that is completely different from NDC. NDC comes from a revolution. Their first manifesto was signed by President Rawlings, who was Chairman Rawlings, with his blood. NDC is known to have a history of not being entirely, you know, media friendly. So, and that is completely opposite from MPP, which is a, 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 a coming from a tradition where they portray themselves, at least to a large extent, before the period before 92 Constitution, were more media friendly. In, 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 two, in 2012, I think in, in 2016, the, we in multimedia at the time, and I was with multimedia, we were called regime changes. The MPP portrayed itself as we are the fighters of media freedom. And when NDC was in power, every time the media has come under attack, it is the, the MPP that would rise to the occasion and support the media. So what has changed? That's what I'm saying, that it is with that expectation that you want to place the MPP above the NDC in terms of expectation. And therefore, you don't want the you don't, ministry you don't think, or government you don't think to just they were, acknowledge it. 